Hi and welcome to my new tutorial about uh, Java and JDBC. And in this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to retrieve values from table in your database. And uh, I also added one more person in my person table, Jane Joss. So let's start with coding in our uh, select by ID method. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'll create a new instance of my person object. Person class, not person object. And I'll also create a new connection variable. Prepare statement variable. I'll initialize those variables. And uh, I'll also create a, one new variable called result set. You will import result set, of course, from Java SQL package. And basically, result set is a table of uh, records from your database, which uh, will be retrieved when we query our database. Okay. And now let's create a try catch. And finally. Okay. Now let's uh, return connection from our connection configuration class. Get connection, okay. And uh, let's call prepare statement from connection and let's pass our query here. Actually, our SQL statement and I'll say like select all from person uh, where ID equals question mark, okay. And I'll say prepare statement uh, dot set integer uh, column, column will be one. This is the first column, so it will be one. And it will be ID, the number we are going to pass when we call this method. This is basically ID of your purse. Okay, and let's say result set equals prepare statement and let's call execute query method. Now we populated our result set from our database when, when we call this execute query method from prepare statement. And now we have to iterate uh, through result set to re retrieve values. And for that, we'll have to create a simple while loop. And I'll say while our result set. And I'll call this next method. Okay. And now let's set values for our variables in person uh, object, person, yes, person object by calling uh, setters. Person set ID and uh, to retrieve value for, for example, ID, I'll say res uh, result set and value will be integer. So I'll say, I'll call get integer method. And here I'm going to pass a name of my column which is ID. And for first name, I'll say person dot set first name. Let's call that setter. And let's say result set. And since first name is a string, I'll say get string. And I'll pass name of my column, which is first name. Okay. And finally, for last name, Last name, salt set, also it will be get string, last name. Okay, everything looks good. Let me just catch this exception. Okay, and here I'll close my prepare statement, result set, and connection. Uh, let's close result set first. Result set, result set, close. Okay, let's surround it with try catch. Now let's close the fifth statement. Not equal no. Prepare statement, close. And let's surround this with try catch. And finally, let's close connection. 
no connection close and in final step I'm going to return my person instance ok that's it now let's call this method in our app class in main method so let me first comment this pdi insert and this ok and let's create a basically uh, we will create a person variable and we will assign value from that method select by id and i'll call pdi select by id and i'll pass id uh, of my person for example let's select john and his id is one and now we have our person object initialized person variable initialized actually so let's uh, Let's echo those values by calling system out print line and I'll say person get id plus double quotes comma plus person get first name plus person get last name. And this is get. Okay, now let's run this. And as you can see, it prints one John and Jones. Let's change this to two. So let's try to print out uh, J and Jones. And as you can see, it says J Jones for this to ID. So that should be it in this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.